What's up guys, DK, we are back to Final Fantasy 12, the Zodiac Age, and I'm really, really, really sorry for completely, utterly just destroying and breaking the game at this point. Uh, for those of you who don't know which part of the game I'm at, as you see, Lhasa is here. He's now named Lhasa, not Lamont. So that's why I am. We are getting ready to go to the hand mines. And I wasn't going to do this at first, but I said, oh, what the hell? Why not? Somebody, somebody had to do it. Somebody had to completely go inside the trombo and just, just utterly destroy and exploit the game's overpowered mechanics. And show you what a huge, what a huge mistake it was for them to do this. Now, apparently, I've been told many times that they intentionally wanted this version of the game to be easier for the newcomers. And by the way, guys, um, I did indeed get that. Um, I went back in the trial mode a couple of times. I actually managed to steal the strongest gun from Elsa, which was kind of annoying because she's, 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 oh, I can't stand. She's so fucking annoying. Anyway, guys, I was saying, I think we can all agree there's really no debating this. I think that we can all agree that we currently live in a day and age, and by the way, there's a dark magic in there too. We currently live in an era where people don't like playing hard games anymore. If if a game is, 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 is even slight difficult, they'll complain about it. And we also live in an era where, where game developers bend themselves over to anybody who complains about the slightest thing. I'm not just talking about this game, I'm, I'm talking about every, everything in general. Let's take um, um, Overwatch, for example. Feminists complained about that, so they, um, they um, took out her, her, uh, her uh, butt pose. They complained about Chun-Li's boobs and Armika's butt slap and Kami's crotch shot and stuff like that. Nowadays, anytime somebody complains about something in the game, the the developers just change it. So, in this game's case, uh, and the funny thing is, I actually called this. I specifically said that people who are new to this version of the game aren't going to like the idea of being stuck to one job because they're going to think that it's going to make, make the game harder. And sure enough, now we can use two jobs. So, so yeah, guys, we... We live in a time where they they purposely just make make the games easy for all these these this 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 new young generation of gamers. And once again, I sound like old fart for saying that because you know I am 35, so I guess I am kind of, I am getting up there in years. But oh well, how do I get off? Oh yeah, I gotta talk to you. Somebody had to completely split the game. But don't worry, guys. This is not gonna stop me from. From making a guide later on the game showing you how to get all the weapons the normal way because the thing is uh, I do acknowledge that there are indeed a lot of a lot of uh, new people playing this game people who never played any version of Final Fantasy 12 before uh, if you're one of those people the trial mode can definitely be kind of overwhelming in order to keep all this stuff in the trial mode you have to actually win that battle so yeah, if you're new, you might ha have some trouble with it, so. And then again, there are some people who think that doing that is just too cheap, so. Oh, well. And why do I keep forgetting to turn the audio back to English before the cutscenes? Why? Why do I keep doing that? Research. Anyway, guys, we're finally gonna go into the hand mines. Uh, apparently, the scorpion tail. Well, it's not. Let me see. It's not actually called the scorpion tail anymore. In the original version, it was called the scorpion tail F. Uh, oh, wrong board, dude. Here we go. It's. Uh, let me see. It's now called the. What the fuck? How do you pronounce this? <laughs> well. Whatever this is, uh, this was once called the the Scorpion Tail F. You make it in the bazaar the same way you made the original Scorpion Tail. So we're gonna get that. Damn chocobos! What are you scared of, man? Ain't nothing in there, ain't nothing in, in there but but a bunch of bats and a giant dragon. That's that's it, really. 
And by the way, guys, uh, really sorry about this, but I'm pretty sure some of you by now have noticed a slight change in my commentary. Uh, the audio may seem kind of muffed. Um, the reason for this, guys, is um, my headset, if you can call it a headset, because it's actually not a headset anymore. My headset is actually on its last leg. I've had this thing for about five years. This is a Turtle Beach Air Force X12 headset. I bought this thing when it first came out, which of course means I paid over over $100 for it. And because I paid that much, I'm going to make sure I get my money's worth. So as long as I can still talk to this thing, I'm going to keep using it. But perhaps it is indeed time for me to get a new a new headset. So, but like I said, guys, as you can clearly see, I've just completely broken the game here by getting all this stuff. I have what? I have uh, two Excaliburs. I told you I was going to do that. I have three ribbons. <laughs> That's just so fucking wrong. Oh well. And by the way, guys, there seems to be some misunderstanding with a few people um not one time did I say don't do this or don't do that and miss the game too easy I never said that here we go as I said apparently from what you guys have been telling me this was a business decision they specifically made the game easier for the new people so th so that they would sell more copies because at the end of the day, that's really all they give a shit about. Whether or not they sell every copy of this game or not. And like I said, there were indeed a lot of people c complaining about the whole one job thing. How that would make it, think, how that would make it too hard and, and they don't want to play it. So Square said, well, well, fuck. Let's give them two jobs to make it easier. And let's take them take out of the trial mode and stuff. So yeah. Alright, so after we press this button right here. Jellies! And like I said before, guys, uh, the reason why I'm not using a time mage is because I have alternate methods of, of acquiring the abilities that use in a time mage. Once you chain these uh, jellies here, they drop float motes. The goblins and nobodies, they drop histogram motes. And actually, um, I can uh, the, the histogram moat, and uh, honestly, I think I can farm that in the, um, in the lab. I can't remember. I know I can farm reverse motes there. But I can also farm those in the in the Lushu mines. And like I said, guys, I know I may have disappointed a few of you by completely breaking the game like this and making it into a cakewalk. If it bothers you that much, I can always switch to the fair team. But even then, it's still gonna be easy, so. There really, there really isn't anything I can do to make this this game fair, cause it's just see this. This is what I was trying to say. People, people were already complaining about the whole being stuck to one job thing. How, how much harder that's gonna make the game? Not realizing that okay, I'm only a knight, but I'm a pretty badass knight. So yeah, but again. All Square cares about at the end of the day is selling their copies of the game. So they said, we'll make it easy so everybody can enjoy it. But yeah, guys, um, I, I never said don't do this, don't do that. In fact, I think I've done the exact opposite of what some of you have accused me of doing. I've shown you how to exploit the game, how to get all this overpowered shit at this point in the game. I want you to do it. I'm doing it. Anybody who, who's followed me for at least the past two months knows that I'm not one to handicap myself. I do it on rare occasions when I when I want to have fun. Ooh, Batwing, that's I need that. I mean, there are sometimes I will do it. Example, um, Persona 5. I use, well, actually, um, in the Persona game, I completely go, what the fuck am I doing? As I was saying, in the Persona game, I completely go out of my way to make absolutely sure that Titania is as strong as I could possibly get her. And the reason for this is because Titania is my favorite Persona. When I first laid eyes on Titania, I said, yep, yep, that's the one. 
And the funny thing uh, about this is everybody kept telling me how weak, how weak uh, Titania is. Titania's not good. And yet in Persona 1, uh, Persona 3, 4, and 5, I've pretty much beaten everybody using Titania, even Elizabeth. But anyway, guys, if some of you are bothered by me being completely overpowered, just let me know and I might consider making this a fair fight. But I've already played this game before and in, in all honesty, I want to have some fun. I like the idea of I like the idea of actually being able to kill things with the worm here blade cuz um, those of you who who are new to this game and you don't know this the worm here blade here you can't normally get this until after you've um, until after you've defeated Yazimat or Mega Mod 12 and done the the fishing mini game which is fucking annoying might I add this pretty much means you have to defeat pretty much everything in the game. The only, the only things that will be left you to actually use it on is um, Zodiac if you haven't beaten them, the the Shadow Seer, and that's about it. I mean, yes, the the undead enemies are are um, weak to it. You can have fun with them, but still, you know. Now, somebody's saying you know the Worm Here Blade attack slow. It's not that good. Yes, it's definitely the slowest weapon in the game, but once you put the gadget gloves on, it combos almost every time, so it definitely makes up for it. And even then, the fact that it gives you permanent faith is, is still good, because anybody can equip this thing. Yes. So, Pinello is in permanent faith, which is something... Which is something that this shit should have done. That's what this should have did. So yes, guys, I, I I tell you, I'm gonna have some fun with this. I like the idea of having the worm here blade now, so I can just 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 destroy everything in my path. I like that. I, it may have sound like I was complaining about it, but no, I was actually. Uh, how the fuck did I get petrified? Oh goddamn traps. It may have sounded like I was uh, complaining about it, but no, I was actually just making light of the. I was making light of the of the situation. Okay, so the dreaded hand mines, and I'm gonna have a. I'm gonna have a lot of fun in, in the second half of the hand mines. Since I have two Excaliburs, oh man, two fucking Excaliburs. Oh, I've always wanted to do that, two Excaliburs, that's gonna be so much fun. Now, I remember some of you there's actually a, a hunt down here playing on the game, a mind flare or something. I fucked. Okay, these um nice that combo. I really hate those teleporter monsters. They're actually very, very, very annoying. Uh, wrong way. Those monsters that teleport, they're fucking annoying. I can't stand them. Uh, give me mine. Balance smoke. Yeah. Anyway, guys, um, I've decided. I thought there was something that's coming down that was really good. I've decided to to start speedrunning Persona 3 Portable. I mean, Persona 3 was the game that got me into the series, so it would be a shame that, that I'd not speedrun it. I guess I I could try speedrunning the the original fares, but that'll take I don't know 30 hours, especially considering the fact that you can't skip the cutscenes and the fact that I gotta walk everywhere mainly. It'd be a lot better if you just speed running on on the uh, on the purple version. The fact that I can use a female character has something to do with it, only slightly. That chick's hot, by the way. Die, yeah. oh, fuck. So, those of you who do don't understand the the severity of this, let's just compare. Normally, I would be using stuff 
about this attack power. Yeah, 38. Yeah, that's about how much damage that she would normally be doing. So right now, she's in Bravery and Berserk, and I'm using a weapon that has 38 attack power. Let's see how much damage this one does. Oh, I didn't see it there. By the way, where are those, where are those damn gizzard guys? Oh, they're over there, over there, I believe. Cause I gotta get the charge gizzard so I can make the make the. I'm still gonna call it the the scorpion elf cause I I can't pronounce I can't pronounce that the other shit. Okay, so right here, she's gonna do two thousand. Two thousand. Actually, I think these guys are actually weak to to holy. Are they? No, they're not. So now I put on the Excalibur, and it does 11,000 damage. <laughs> what do you mean you parried that? Uh, you little fuck! Die. But anyway, continue. There's a giant dinosaur here that's gonna die in one hit. Just, to, just like all of them. Die. Whoa, he actually did some damage. 100, he actually penetrated my armor here. Wow, he actually did did a small amount of damage. That's kind of kind of surprising. Oh well. Anyway, there's gonna be a lot of jellies in this room, and uh, they do do confusion, which is kind of annoying. So I'm gonna make sure. Well, I'm not worried about Ash because Ash has the. Berserk on. We have one really, really, really good thing uh, about Berserk in this game is that fortunately Berserk and Confusion cannot coexist. If if your character is in Berserk, they can never be hit by Confusion. The one and only exception to this is if you step on a trap, and that trap does Berserk and Confusion at the same time. Other than that. Berserk makes you completely immune to confusion. That's actually very, very helpful because confusion is fucking annoying. Yeah. But yeah, guys, uh, you really, you really don't need to exploit the trial mode as much as I did. If anything, I would say play the trial mode up to the point, up to floor 49, so you can get ribbons. Now, nothing was gonna stop me from doing that. Yes, I. I I actually stole the ribbon three times because it, it's 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 that important. Cause the stats the stats effects in this game are fucking annoying. Anyway, guys, here's our creature. You see why I'm right there on the map? These guys turn into things, where the fuck they are, and sometimes they drop discharge gizzards. I think I need three of them. This is a what is it? A 12% monogram drop or something? I need two or three of those. And then I combine that with these two babies right here, and I can make my scorpion tail elf. I'm gonna keep calling it scorpion tail elf because because I can't pronounce the other name. Fuck that. So guys, I will indeed be getting those on screen. Make sure that I, I note this this clip when I do my ultimate weapons video. Actually, no, because I'm going to I'm going to start a new game probably on weak mode. No, because when I play weak, weak mode, I'm only gonna use the, I'm only gonna use the job suitable for that mode. So I'm probably gonna have like six machinists so everybody can use a gun, and then I'll go from there. Penella will probably still be my my, my white mage and so on and so forth. Die. Yeah, uh, the worm heel blade is yeah. Every every Final Fantasy game has something like this. Uh, the worm heel blade is is actually a joke weapon. Th this is your this is your your trophy item for like completely beating everything in the game. You 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 really have to go through a lot of shit to obtain this thing normally. So it's basically just a trophy item. But if if you left a few bosses alive, you can have some fun with it. I just wish it wasn't so slow. But if you actually let me see. If you, Pinello, hmm, right. If you add uh, Berserk and haste to it, let me see. I really don't want to waste my haste to die modes. How many do I got? 
I only got two. If you add Berserk and Haste to that, it's actually not that slow anymore. Let me just get Fran ready, cause these fucking jellies are gonna be everywhere. But anyway, guys, this is how I'm gonna obtain my my float moats later on in the game, and I'm gonna need a lot of these, cause the second part of the hand mines has some really nasty traps that I don't want to step on. Fran is gonna barbecue them to death. Once you build up a high chain, these guys drop um, float boats um, almost every time. Fucking pebbles. Hmm, I didn't get a single one yet. That's kind of funny. Actually, now that I remember. Some of the some of the drop rates in in this version of the game didn't need change. I can't I can't remember if these flans still drop float modes or not. I think they do. It might be a rare drop now, but still, there's so many of them here, and it's very easy to to um, build up a chain. But anyway, guys, before I continue, I'm gonna go back and get some more of those uh, charged gizzard thingies, and then I'll I'll keep going because I want to make sure I get my weapon now. Okay guys, and just like that, I have my three charge gizzards. That didn't take long at all. Yeah, I think it's like a 10 or 12% monograph drop. So you'll, you'll have these before you know it. It's a shame that there's only two of them here, but they're really, really easy to zone. So this won't take long. As I was saying guys, the, the second part of the hit mines is actually quite nasty. It's one of the most difficult levels in the entire series. Even as I am now, I can quickly get my ass handed to me. Well, not necessarily. Now that I have, now that I have three ribbons, I feel a lot more safer. But there are still some things down there that can cause some problems. The uh, the bats still do two thousand apiece. The um, the team still do death to you and stuff like that. So yeah. Um, if you want a taste of the hell that awaits you in the second part of the hand mines there's a there's a little section in the favor that takes you to the back end of the second part of the hand mines and you'll fight th three of those um suit up bats there and in all honesty i truly think that's the only reason why i why it's there the uh, I, I would definitely say that the only reason why that little section is there is to give you a taste of the second part of the hit mines, yeah. See, there it is, um, float boat. Uh, it, it's only there to to give you a taste of the second part of the hit mines. So you will know that okay, if I'm gonna go here, I gotta be like really, really, really strong and stuff like that. So anyway, nothing too puzzling about this place really. All you gotta do is just just keep changing the gates, and eventually you'll you'll make your way to the boss here. But I guess I do feel kind of bad for completely exploiting the game like this and just I'm I'm, I'm, I'm like one shotting everything all the attacks do zero damage but like I said guys I'm gonna have some fun I mean I, I do love this game and I, I, I've already played it the hard way and now I'm gonna have some fun I guess I'll try to get a couple more charge gizzards just for shits and giggles yeah, see, that's what I meant when I said that bows are underrated. I don't see a lot of people using bows, but in all honesty, guys, when I'm grinding and farming items, bows are my weapons of choice. The reason for this, guys, is when you put your, your archers in berserk, they usually kill the enemies long before they get anywhere near you all I gotta do is, is, is walk around and and uh, pick up loot my berserkers do all the damage and I did it again I forgot to change it back to English
あの子なのでもこのミストはミュリーヒュムの匂い力の匂いどうしたのよるな力に飢えたヒュムが To fight this boss with these weapons on would be just just totally fucking unfair, completely unfair. So, I will try to make this a fair fight, but there's really nothing I can do to, to, to make this fair at, at this point. Even even if I use this, it'll probably, I'll probably still kill him in like five blows. Well, maybe not that few, but oh well. I'll let Ash try to handle this. If, if I die for whatever reason, then I bring in the full. The full shebang. It maybe says me this guy can actually use disable on you, which is really annoying. Time it, if, if I'm saying that right. All right, so this guy, mm, that only did 400 damage. His attacks do zero damage. How nice. All right, Lassa, are you just gonna sit there and do nothing? Oh, I forgot. He 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 still <laughs> he still set for the trial mode. Yeah. Uh, one thing that's really gonna seem overwhelming about the trial mode is that um, when you damn he he does more damage than her. Let's put on a slightly stronger weapon, baby. Uh, one thing that might annoy you about the trial mode is that when you get to like floor, let's do this. When you get to like floor 60 and above, you're gonna start changing your your uh, gamut setups over and over and over again. Like for for stage 86, I need this setup, and, and for stage 99, I need this setup. For stage um for stage 93. I gotta change my gimmicks for Ultima, then I gotta change my gimmicks for Zodia, then I gotta change it for Yasme, then I gotta change it for Omega, you know, you gotta keep changing your your gimmicks all the time, and, and that does get kind of annoying, but, oh well. The trial mode is really, really, really fun, and I really, there is one change that I really, really did like that I, that I think that was a really good idea. Was that that I don't have to do the first ten trials anymore? Example, um, okay, he's gonna die real soon. Example, if if you get your ass handed to you by the judges, and that will happen on occasions, you don't have to do stages ninety-one through one hundred all over again. You can keep trying stage one hundred until you win. That was really frustrating on, on the PS2 version how every time I got my ass kicked by the judges, I had to go through 91 through 99 again. It's just, oh God. Just, just, I mean, what? Okay, 91, you gotta fight the magic pot. I love you, Team Fap. Uh, 92, you gotta fight the Shadow Seer and all his, all his minions. 93 is the level 99 Chuckabos, three of them. 94 is Gilgamesh, I believe. 95 is Ultima. 96 is the um, the Bats. 97 is Zodiac. 98 is Yasmet. 99 is Omega. And 100 is the Five Judges. So, yeah, that's a pretty powerhouse lineup, guys.
何だったんだ今の。森に帝国兵が現れた時も里の仲間は無関心でした森が荒らされない限りビエラは外からの何もかもを無視するんですでも私は不安で帝国の狙いを突き止めたくてそれでここまで調べに来たらとっ捕まったと無鉄砲は姉譲りかねあの人たち私に石を近づけたんです人体がミストを取り込むとかビエラが最適だとか言ってその石の光を見たら私リヴァイアさんねあの時暁の断片が放ったミストが私をたけらせたようにこの子の心を奪ったのは人造浜関カンネロさん僕が差し上げた石まだ持っていますかはいもちろん<笑>僕の想像以上に危険なものでしたあなたに渡すべきじゃなかったすみませんこんなものを私にとってはお守りだったんですリヴァイアさんでもみんなを守ってくれて。危険な力だろうと支えにはなるのよかもしれないけどさ森のささやきを聞いた持っていけレンテの涙がお前を許す森を越えてどこへなりと行くがいい<笑>それだけなの森を出て知ったわ世界は動いてるなのにピエラは何もしないと言うのヒュムの世に関わるのはピエラのサガではない嫌なのよイバリスが動こうとしているのにビエラだけが森にこもっているなんて私だって森を出て自由に行きたいのよやめておきなさいあ,あなたはヒュムに関わらないで森にとどまり森と共に行きなさいそれがビエラよでも姉さんだってもうビエラではなくなったわ森も里も家族も捨て自由を手に入れた代わりに過去から切り離されてしまった今の私には森の声も聞こえないミュリンあなたもそうなりたい姉さんいいえあなたの姉はもう一人だけ私のことは忘れなさい<笑>嫌な役をさせたなあの子は掟に反発している掟を支えて里を導く立場のあなたより掟を捨てた私が止めた方がいいわ頼みがある
私の代わりに声を聞いて森は私を憎んでいる去っていったお前をただ懐かしんでいるだけだ嘘でも嬉しいわ気をつけろ森はお前を奪ったヒュムを憎んでいる今の私はヒュムと同じよそうでしょうさよなら姉さん At this rate, I might have to do another ass shot count. Anyway, guys, um, at this point, I should be able to do a few more hunts. Actually, a lot more hunts. But of course, we're gonna go ahead and call it right here. I believe our next area is gonna be the the primary reef, which also means I can reach the Fade Wood. So I'm probably gonna go ahead and take care of my take care of my uh, my Hellgate flames while I'm there. I don't exactly know when, when I'm gonna get those. But yeah, guys, we're going to go ahead and call it right here, and I will see you later. Take it easy. Thanks for watching.